One of the most important things we'll be dealing with when we create our routes is middleware. Now what middleware does is it makes sure that requests don't actually get to our routes unless the middleware is run first. One of the most commonly used reasons for middleware is to make sure that our users are authenticated. For instance, let's take these dashboard routes. Everything in this dashboard route group, we want to make sure that our users are fully authenticated before they get to these routes. We don't want normal people seeing this dashboard. Really simply, we can use the middleware that is built into Laravel called auth. And we can add a middleware parameter to this route group. We'll use auth. Just like that, all of our users are required to be authenticated before they get to these routes. To test, let's make this simpler for ourselves. We'll delete that. We'll not worry about controller routing right now. Let's create a closure here and we'll just dump and die dashboard home. Back over, refresh. Automatically, you can see that our route was not the dashboard route that we wanted. We got redirected to the login page, a login page that we don't have created already. We'll create a login route really quickly. Come back over and you'll see that we're back at our login page. Now, while authentication isn't really part of this course, it's out of the scope since we want to focus on routing, it's important to note that that middleware did its job. It sent us away from the dashboard page over to the login page. How did this do this exactly? We can go look directly at the middleware that is shipped with Laravel to do the authentication. All middleware can be found under app, HTTP, middleware, and authenticate is the one that we want to look at. You can see here that it checks for authentication. If we're not authenticated, it'll redirect us to the login route. Otherwise, go ahead and go forward and go where you wanted to go. Notice that we used the word auth here for the middleware instead of the full name authenticate or any of the names here. The naming is actually coming from this kernel file in app http kernel.php. Here, if we scroll down, we have our middleware we have middleware groups and our route middleware is named and called here. Auth is using the middleware authenticate class. Guest is using the redirect if authenticated class. And there are a couple others that we can use throttle so that we can make sure that users aren't hitting a request too many times for spam purposes. And these are all the middleware that comes shipped with Laravel. What about if we want to create our own middleware? We can easily create that. We'll use Artisan. Clear this out. We'll zoom in a bit. PHP Artisan make middleware. And let's implement a different sort of authentication. Let's do JWT authentication. JWT authentication. We'll create that. Go over. And you can see in our middleware folder, JWT authenticate was created. We can handle our logic here check for the JWT for token authentication, and then return next. And we will need to use that. So we need to register that in the kernel. We're going to call jot auth and app HTTP middleware jot authenticate and call the class. Now we can use that middleware directly in our routes file. And just like that, we've switched our authentication from normal auth to JWT authentication. How do we call this for a specific route? Well, we can do this a couple ways. You can chain, just like we did for naming, middleware. And if you need finer control, you can actually do this at the controller level. We'll go into site controller. And here, we'll create a constructor. And we'll call this middleware handy method on the controller that we're extending. And here we can use jwt.auth. Now everything inside of this controller is using this middleware. We can also have finer grained control. We can say only on a specific function in this controller. Let's say only for get contact. Do we want to do this sort of authentication? 
So really quickly, we can use middleware to add control over our routes. We can handle it at the route group level, at the single route level, or even at the controller level.